Hello everyone, you join us today in that uh, beautiful Neo ES6. So I'm sure as you've guessed already, we're not in Canada because that car is not sold in Canada, at least not yet. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to try a battery swap. So we're actually right now in uh, China, in the beautiful province of uh, Yunnan. And we're going to go to a battery swap station and uh, I'll describe you the process and we'll see how it works. Uh, Spoiler alert, I tried this yesterday to make sure it works and uh, we had a beautiful quick battery swap so that should uh, be flawless today as well. So first thing to do is you're going to enter the uh, power swap station in your GPS here. All right, so I'm going to go and uh, click on that logo here, charging stations. It's loading. No available charging resource, oh, whatever, disregard that, <laughs> I don't know what it was for. Here you're going to make sure that you select only, so you could have DC charging, AC charging, you want obviously only power swap station, confirm. We're going to zoom out to find the closest power swap station, which is right here in Dali. So 49 kilometers, as you can see it's a power swap station 2.0, which means it can hold uh, 13 batteries. This one looks like it has only 12 batteries. Normally I heard that the 2.0 can have uh, 13 batteries. But anyway, as you can see, they're all available. All 12 batteries are available. They're all fully charged. So that's perfect. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're simply going to click on power swap here, routing, and it's just going to, okay, so auto order when near a power substation. So you can auto order the battery. I am not sure what it is for uh, because yesterday, see it says we'll place an order automatically later, but it didn't work yesterday. Um, I don't know if you need a special subscription or anything, but we could still do the power swap. So that's what matters. All right, guys. So yeah, that's where I should have done my homework. Uh, the auto order, but that's the beauty of editing, right? <laughs> the auto order function, basically what it's going to do is when you reach the uh, power swap station, so when you're nearby, like 200 meters from the power swap station, it's going to reserve a battery for you inside the station. And if another NEO arrives at the same time, uh, you're going to have a number in a line or in a queue, basically. So make sure that uh, people are not fighting for the power swap station because uh, you can only do a power swap at a time, right? So that's what the auto order is for. So there you go. Um, Order waiting, and it's gonna order automatically when you get closer to the station. Zero people waiting, so that's good, but maybe someone is gonna be doing a power swap when we arrive, that's okay, they're pretty quick. Uh, yeah, I guess we can just uh, start driving, and I'll see you at the uh, power swap station. Okay, as we're uh, driving to the station, let's talk uh, theory a bit. So, the station, the power swap station we're going to is uh, uh, PSS 2.0, so the second version of that of those power swap stations. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it theoretically can hold 13 batteries, uh, and it's going to be usually a mix of 70, 75 kilowatt hour battery and 100 kilowatt hour batteries. Um, the first version of it, the P PSS 1.0, they were able to hold only five batteries, and now they've started to build. Thank you, Nomi. They've started to build uh, power swap station 3.0, and those stations can uh, can hold sorry 21 batteries, and they can theoretically do more power swap a day. It's like more than 400 compared to the a bit more than 300 power swaps that the PSS 2.0 can do. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to mention. Also, it looks like. The power swap station 2.0, they're supposed to do the swap in like three minutes. Um, I don't know where that number is coming from. It definitely took more than three minutes yesterday to do it. So I guess maybe they just uh, start the stopwatch when the car is in the station and the battery swap is actually starting. But the whole process from where you park at the station and then the car drive itself inside, do the power swap and then you can drive out is definitely more than three minutes. So. I'll start a stopwatch today as we're parking in front of the station and the car start uh, driving itself into the, sta into the station sorry, and we'll see how long it takes. Uh, and as far as the PSS 3.0 are concerned, 
Looks like you can do the power swap in less than two minutes and a half. But like I mentioned, I'm sure in reality it takes a bit longer than that. So anyway, we'll see uh, how it goes at the station. See you in a bit. Start power swap. Press the brake pedal on top. Park. There you go. Start parking. Parking, please be aware. Resume parking. Okay, so now the car is doing everything itself. So the car is driving itself into the stations, into the station. Yeah, it was pretty close. Oh, yeah, there you go. I was scared for a minute. <laughs> I thought it was going to back up into the station wall. taking a bit longer than yesterday the parking is taking quite a bit of time yesterday was I think I was parked I was not parked very well to be honest but uh, okay all better safe uh, than sorry not looking well <laughs> yesterday just went into the station in like three moves oh there you go at last so yeah it took a, a lot longer than yesterday I'm not sure why uh, I feel like I was parked properly but anyway here we are took almost two minutes to go into the stations to go into the station parking complete power swap is about to start so here there is a bunch of instructions. Power swap requires three, five minute climate control. Basically, it's going to tell you what happened. Nobody, nobody's going to read it. Start power swap. This may take some time. Please wait. Neutral gear, self inspection. Power swap is about to start. During this time, the vehicle may shake and make noise. This is normal. Do not open any door, shift gears, or press the brake pedal. Alright, so that's about to start, so the car is going to turn off. And then the elevator is going to come and bring... Sorry, the elevator is going to come. Put the car, take the car up, and then and screw the battery that's in the car. Take it on the side here. Then it's going to start the process again, which is going to put the car down, take a new battery, and bring it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So, yeah, the car is being jacked up, and it's going to unscrew the battery that is in the car right now. And after that, it's going to take it on the side there. It's not going to take it right away into the stations because there is only one way so it's going to take take it on the side and you can hear the drills it's unscrewing the battery right now taking the battery here yeah this must be what it's doing
Gonna bring a new battery. I can hear the, some noise in the station here, so it must be selecting a battery. And it's gonna bring it on a conveyor, put it back in the car and screw it. There you go. I can feel that the new battery is in the car now. Then we're gonna hear the drills. There you go. Screwing the new battery in. the elevator oh uh, yeah there you go car is going back down should be done anytime soon now the car is going to come back to life and we'll just manually drive out of the station so like i mentioned earlier this is a power swap station 2.0 so the process is slightly longer than a, the new power swap station 3.0 uh, when Neo gives you time, I think they're slightly optimistic. There you go, it's done. We're gonna drive out, so it's gonna have taken like approximately six minutes. But most of the time has been you have swapped taken. Your battery and I have full power. Have full power. Remember to pay the power swap order on time. Alright, and we have 93%, like yesterday. So really when they said that they charged the battery to 90%, like I've heard before, it's really more close to 93%. Mm -hmm. And we're done. So yeah, it took like it took like six minutes. I would say from the time I, be, I parked to the time I get out of the station. So yeah, I say six minutes to have a full battery. I think it's pretty good. We're done. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll be on our way. Thanks for watching. So let me know in the comments what do you think about the uh, power swap? I think it's an amazing technology. Uh, is that the future? I don't think so. I mean, of course, we're going to see more power swap in the future. I'm pretty convinced about that. But I think it's just going to be a small percentage of the uh, charging, if you will, uh, on the road. People are mostly going to be using the classic charging, fast DC fast charging, I think. And we'll see a bit more uh, power swap stations for sure. Neo is building them in Europe like crazy. Here in China, they have already like more than 2,000 power swap stations. Uh, plus, they just uh, signed a partnership with uh, Shang'an, which is like the third uh, best-selling car company in, uh, in China. So we'll see more swap stations, we'll see more car being able to do those uh, swaps, that, that's for sure. But I think most people will still be using DC fast charging because I think that's the cheapest and most effective way to uh, recharge a car. Uh, I think the... Power swap is really convenient for people that can't charge at home and they have to refill their car, if I can say that, after work, for example. They can just go to a power swap station, uh, recharge their car in five minutes and uh, have enough fuel for the week. So I think uh, that could be convenient for those people. It's a niche, maybe, market. But uh, pretty sure they will, uh, we'll see more of those in the future. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing a road trip uh, in China here with a BYD next week. So it's gonna be a like two days road trip. I'll post uh, the video in probably a couple of weeks. That should be uh, interesting. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.